when we determine the age of a meteorite, so in chronology, but also, for example, in topics like nucleosynthesis, we want to know how the nuclides formed, how all the elements formed, it is critical and important to know about the radioactive decay and how elements can decay. There are a couple of different modes elements decay, but there are three most important, and these are displayed here. And what you see here is basically um, a small part of the chart of nuclides. So on the x-axis, to the right here, is the increasing number of neutrons. And on the y-axis, there's the increasing number of protons. So along the y-axis are the various elements, along the x-axis are the various isotopes, basically. Now let's start with one parent nucleus. So the nucleus of one nuclide of one isotope. And this then decays. And we first look at the beta minus decay, which is an electron is lost. This is into this direction. Now if a negative charge is lost, then a positive charge will occur. And this is what's happening here. So a neutron with neutral charge um, changes into a proton, thereby the, the positive charge occurs because the negative was removed. So changing a neutron into a proton means the nucleus loses one neutron but gains one proton. It goes first to the left, losing one neutron, then up, gaining one proton. And then we have this nuclide here, which has one proton more, which means it is another element now. Then similarly, the second decay is the beta plus decay. So now a positive charge leaves the nucleus, so it must basically gain, um, or th there must be some, some negative charge then in the nucleus. But because positive is going, which means this is um, basically the positive charge of a proton, proton, which then changes into a neutron. So proton, um, the positive charge is removed, and then the, the neutron forms. This means there's the gain of a neutron, but the proton is lost. So this is also another element, but with one less proton. And as this I, and this is the beta plus decay. And with this plus and minus, it is quite helpful to remember what kind of decay it is, because if a positive charge is lost, it is the, the proton positive charge. If a negative charge is lost, it must be compensated by a positive charge, which is then the, the gain in proton. And then the third mode is the alpha decay. Now this is not a transformation in the core, this is just the core loses something, and in this case the core loses a helium-4 core. So two protons and two neutrons are lost, which means two protons are lost, two neutrons are lost, and then we end up here, and this is the alpha decay. So again, a different element um, with two protons lost. So we have a decay where we lose two protons, or one proton, or gain one proton. And these are the three main modes of decay that are very critical and important to remember, um, in particular if you want to understand nucleosynthesis processes, but also the basics behind um, chronology and the decay behind the various isotopes that are used in, uh, as, as systems for determining meteorite ages.